Hello everybody, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. We are uh, getting the stock market table model working. So we're very close to having multiple years going. Um, I want to apologize. I, it's not part of my workflow yet to check into Git at the end of every episode. So for the last few episodes there hasn't been any new source code to put up on GitHub. and I apologize for that. I did just remember to check in at the end of episode 23. Uh, and hope it all, hopefully I'll remember to check in at the episode end of episode 24 as well. Uh, these are so short, though, you're not really missing too much source code. But uh, I do want to be able to put that up for you. Okay, so we've got the year working, but we don't have the starting balance working. And I think we have a failing test demonstrating that. Yeah, so we expected 11,000 was 10,000. Now I need to get this uh, really working properly. So, I think what I want to do is, on construction, create an array that represents all the years. That, I think, is um, the way to go. So uh, let's see how that works. Okay, so I could use a list or something like that, but in this case, I really want an array because that's, I mean, I want to dereference it in that way. So, um, Let's sneak up on this. This Yeah, this is Sorry I'm not talking through this, I'm just sort of feeling my way through it. Um, I had mentioned earlier that I had recorded a bunch of these videos and they'd failed. Um, you can probably tell this is a... I didn't get this far. Um, where I got was just about as far as I got in the last video, which is to uh, the end of... Uh, to getting one year done. I hadn't gotten to multiple rows at all. Um, so now I have to slow down and actually think this through rather than relying on what I did before. So uh, now we're back to the real stuff, which is me fumbling and not knowing what I'm doing. So um, I hope you enjoy that because that is my life. So uh, let's see. How do we... I'm just going to kind of take some guesses and we'll see how it goes.
this is somewhat of a big step, but it's really not that much code. So, um, Okay, so we've got that. Now it's going to equal years i minus 1 next year. Cool beans. That, I, I fingers crossed, I think that will work. Well, it kind of works. Um, now, <laughs> now we need to make this part go. So the year is just going to be row index. Well, um, that might work. I can press the right button. Ha! It works. Hallelujah. Okay, so um, let's do a desk check of that. Oh, look at that. That is just beautiful. Hey, what do you know? I'll be a half millionaire at this rate. If only I could get 10% interest. Um, yeah. Fabulous. That's awesome. Okay. Well, what do I want to do next? Um, lots of cleanup still to do. Uh, let's see. I, you know, I think... That's pretty much it for the model. I guess I need to clean it up. So let's get this out of here. Let's get that out of there. Wow, that went quicker than I thought it would. Um, we've really got, in terms of this vertical slice, we've got the bare bones in. I think what's left to do is to get into some major polish, which means we need to start doing the alternating row colors. Um, we need some input fields so that we can put in how many years we want to live. and. Um, what our starting balance and starting principle ought to be. We need to get withdrawals in, with withdrawals in there. Um, so quite a bit to do. I'm not sure where I want to go with go with this next. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do, even though this has been a short video, this is a great stopping spot. So um, let me just take a quick look at all the code, make sure it's as clean as I want it to be. Well, that looks pretty darn clean. Um, A little bit of duplication there, but I think that's okay. Uh, yeah. Now note, I'm only checking the second row. I could check more rows, but I really have confidence that this works, that I programmed this correctly. Um, part of doing test-driven development is understanding what you expect to break. So I don't need to test everything. I don't need to test I don't need to prove that it works. I need to push myself to write the code that I need to write with enough confidence in my own work that I think I've covered it. Um, so somebody who is maybe a professional tester would probably go through and do more than this. But in test-driven development, we're not really trying to get everything covered. We're just trying to push the development of the code in a way that's um, rigorous. 
I don't know if that's clear or not. Uh, and I think I'm getting tired. So I'm going to stop here. Um, and next time, I don't know, we will get into some polish of this uh, stuff, I think. I, with any number of directions we could go. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time.